first off, the dollar sign in this title. Do people still think that's clever? Wait, I, I know the song is called Stimulated, but how about we put a dollar sign where the S isn't on? Because I'm going to be like, oh, wait, it's an S, but that's a dollar sign. Oh, <laughs> man, people are going to be tripping out. Okay, so this song is about Tyga's relationship with Kylie Jenner, whom he was dating while she was underage, like 16 or 17. I don't think this song is going to be about that, though. I mean, have you heard this guy's lyrics? He couldn't stay on a focused topic if he tried. Nah, I think people are exaggerating. It's, it's just a generic sex rap song. No way would Tiger bother to get specific enough at all about any topic, much less a topic explicitly about having sex with a minor. They say she young. I should have waited. She a big girl dog when she stimulated. Oh. Shut the fuck and let me finish, baby. I let you finish later. Why the fuck you so opinionated? Um, are you talking to us or the underage girl that you're trying to keep silent before having sex with her? Because you said baby there, so I have to assume you're talking to her right now. Of course, most of the time in the song, he just veers off into talking about his money and jewelry anyway. Tsunami to Roly, my wrist is flooded. But when he does talk about his girl, it's purely in sexual terms. There's no mention of how he loves and shares good times with his real life girlfriend. And again, this isn't just some random sex song. No, this is supposed to be about Kylie Jenner, especially seeing as she's in the video. But no mentions of a deep seated understanding of trust and togetherness, but through it all, he's struggling with the problems of her being underage. In fact, he seems to have no qualms with that at all. They say she young, I should have waited. She a big girl dog when she stimulated. And that, combined with the aforementioned point that he only refers to his real life girlfriend in sexual connotations whenever he does mention her, can only lead my brain to assume that he isn't attracted to her despite her being underage. He is attracted to her because she's underage. Another thing, the beat work for a song is important. It, it sets the tone for how your lyrics will be perceived a lot of the time. And when you've got cold, dark piano melodies, our brain works to associate darker connotations with them. And guess what the name of the sample is that he uses for this song? No, 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 guess the name of the sample. It's called Children. He used a song called Children to talk about having sex with his underage girlfriend. Dude. You. All I could do is laugh. All I could do is laugh. Who are you really trying to convince, Tyga? Me or you? Fuck what they talking about. All the nigga here is my chains clinking back and forth right now, nigga. Can they clink loud enough to drown the voices in your head telling you you're a pervert? Why the fuck you so opinionated? Well, why do you care that they're so opinionated? Oh, I thought you couldn't hear them over the sound of your chains clinking. And good God, look how uncomfortable Kanye is, the dude who executive produced his last album, trying to defend him during an interview. Yeah. You feel like his relationship with your sister-in-law is inappropriate? I think he, I think he got in early. I think he was smart. Tiger came up here though and said they were just friends. I mean, that's what he's supposed to say, but. Yeah, I can't speak on. I can't speak on the last <laughs> relationship. But then you kind of did, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, I knew Tiger was smart, you know? <laughs> and you know what? This isn't all his fault. Our culture has a problem with the infantilization of women, and his mental development has ingrained part of this sexualization of young girls, and people around him should be trying to help him and educate him, and, you know, not ostracize him. But I'm not one of his friends, so f*** you for making the song, and double f*** you to the people who let him do it. Did you see R. Kelly making songs about underage girls? No! He wrote a song about sex with an underage girl, had an underage girl sing the song, creepily appeared in the background of the cover, and tried to marry her when she was only 15 and he was at least a freaking decade older. Which is a lot worse. I don't know what my point was. 